New Leaf videos will end on Founders Day. But Leap Day in 2020... One year and two weeks until the Leap Day bonus video for Animal Crossing New Leaf. I'm serious. It's gonna happen. It's almost February, which means it's almost time for the Leap Day bonus video for Animal Crossing New Leaf. In two weeks, I'll be recording the bonus video for Animal Crossing New Leaf. Reality is sinking in. After all this time, it's about to end. For real. This has been a long time coming, but now I can finally say... How's it going everybody and welcome to a bonus episode for Animal Crossing New Leaf. Welcome Amiibo. So it is finally time to do the final holiday event in this game. Occurring every four years is Leap Day in the real world and that also comes across in Animal Crossing. So without any further ado, let's hop into Pomoja one more time. And let's show off the town for the final time for Leap Day. Hello there, Mayor James. In Pomoja, it's Saturday, February 29th, 2020, and the current time is 1.03 p.m. Well then, shall we get started? Before I do, I want to show something I never showed off during the actual series. And that's the other option on Isabel's screen, where she asks if you're ready to go into the town. I need some help first. At present, I can assist you with the following tasks. Set the time, demolish my home, recreate the town. Okay, the town will be... Wait, what? You can't be serious. I mean, rebuild the town? That means Pomosha will be totally gone. Is that what you really want? All the bells you've earned. Your furniture. It will be lost. And those li who live in the town? All gone. Are you sure about this? This is absolutely positively what you really want? This is what I want. Understood. If you feel that strongly about it. Alright, I have just one more question for you. Once Pomoja is deleted, are you interested in becoming mayor of a new town right away? Or were you thinking of taking a break from village life for a while? I want a new town. Well, I'm very happy to hear that. I hope that I can be of some assistance as you start your new life. Now, I don't want to be too presumptuous, but there's someone I think you should see. Mr. Nook! Oh, James, hello, hello! Let me guess, you're thinking about rebuilding Pomoja, yes? Yes, yes, it's quite understandable. Sometimes a fresh start is just what's called for. And I am delighted to be able to offer you a unique opportunity. I will purchase Pomoja from you. I think this arrangement would be mutually beneficial, yes? You start over with new names and faces and a hefty sack of bells to put toward the rebuilding effort. It's effectively the same as choosing to recreate the town option, only with more bells for you. Yes, yes, very good. I'm glad to see you're thinking with your wallet. Now, if you like, I can go ahead and give you a town thorough, uh, thorough appraisal. That way, you'll know exactly what you'll get if you decide to sell. And you can still change your mind if you aren't happy with the results. Well, what do you say, hmm? Let's appraise the town. Very well. I'll get started right away. Let's see what Pomoja is worth, shall we? Yowza! 
pardon me, that was out of character. Let me just compose myself. Yes, yes, congratulations on building a rather profitable little town. Well done indeed. Now, there's the small matter of your shopping catalog. If you'd like, I'd be willing to buy your town's catalog along with the town itself. If you'd like to sell your catalog, it could add an extra 4 million... 636,762 bells to the final sale price. Of course, selling your catalog means you'll start out with a blank catalog in your new town. So, you won't be able to simply reorder all of the same items you had before. So what will it be? Will you be selling your catalog as well? Let's sell the catalog. Splendid. So according to my calculation, you'll receive a total of 33,487 and 42 bells at closing. Now, there's just one last thing to discuss. The small matter of your payment. Oh, you can elect to receive the proceeds as a lump sum or a series of installments. If you choose a lump sum, all of the bells will be transferred to your ABD at once. If you'd rather receive installments, the proceeds will be divided into 100 equal payments, and with your money safely in escrow, you'll also receive 10% interest on the balance. So for the 100 days in your new town, uh, for the first 100 days in your new town, you will receive uh, 368,358 bells each day. That adds up to a total of 36,835 and 800 bells when it's all said and done. So, would you prefer a lump sum or a series of installments, hmm? Well, installments would give me more money in the end, so let's go with that. Very well then, let's just go over everything one more time. This is your last chance to back out. Will you sell your town and catalog in exchange for 100 payments of 368,000 358 bells each? Wait a moment. Okay, no problem. I want you to be completely happy with your decision, hmm? So, have you decided you don't want to sell your town after all? Or is it something else? I'm gonna cancel the sale. I was thinking long and hard about how I wanted to end this series. And I could have just completely sold the town and start over. Which, by the way, selling your town for bells and starting over that way, that was introduced in the Welcome Amiibo update. But I figured... Pomoja is too much a part of my being. I can't just go ahead and delete it. So, Pomoja will be living on after this episode is over, but I'll get more into that at a later time. For now, let's cancel the sale. Ah, I see, I see. Well, that's understandable. Sometimes the memories just come flooding back, don't they? Oh, Nook, if only you knew. Well, come see me again if you ever change your mind, hmm? Oh, it's great to see you again. Welcome back. Now, are you ready to get started? Yes, let's do it. Wonderful. Let me get you set up. Okay, all set. Oh, that's right. Uh, Mayor James? It's leap day today. You know, there's a February 29th only once every four years, so it's special. Now let me think. What do we do? What are we doing to celebrate the very rarest of days? Wait. What? Nothing? Well, I guess I'll have to make up something here and now. Happy Leap Day! Whoop whoop! Yeah, Leap Day, Leap Day! Yes, well, mm hmm. That's it then. Leap Day accounted for. See you in four years. Did you really think that they were going to do something special for Leap Day? Of course not, it's only occurring every four years, so why would they? Nothing special is programmed, but we're going to treat this like a typical day. 
we're gonna go around the town, we're gonna speak to our villagers, that are here in the town, of course, and we are going to just treat this as if it was any typical day, because that's what they do in the game. Nothing special for Leap Day. Alright, so... Some of the villagers in town you might recognize, because not many villagers from the final episode from Founder's Day moved out. Only, uh, maybe like three or four, maybe even less, I'm not entirely sure. Um, for those who are unaware, on my wiki there's actually a list of villagers currently in the town and those that aren't in the town no longer. But there is one new villager in town that moved in a couple days ago before recording. Oh, you're James, right? Nice to meet ya. I'm Phoebe. I just moved here. And I've heard all about you. Yeah, you're the one who's gonna put Pomoja on the map. Uh, Phoebe, I hate to tell ya, but um... Uh, you kind of moved into town at a bad time. I like that your catchphrase is sparky, though. Anyway, I saw the big guy back by my house. Let's speak to Clay. It's been a while since I've actually been in the town other than, you know, uh, when before Phoebe moved in. I did play a little bit every day just before recording this episode, uh, just to get familiar with everything again, getting back into my routine, you know, that I used to do in the uh, series. Hey, you, you haven't been talking to me at all recently. Don't think I haven't noticed. If you don't start paying attention to me, I'm gonna start doing stuff to make you pay attention to me. Oh god, it's like he knows that there's a meme that he's taken over the town and that he's an evil emperor. Just the other day, I was banging some pots and pans together. That noise was terrible. You wouldn't want me to do something like that again, would you? Oh my god, it's really like he knows that he's an evil emperor in my social circles. Uh, anyway... Uh, let's go speak to all of the villagers at least once. I would like to speak to all of them at least once. Some of them I might not be able to, and that's okay. Um, I'm not gonna write them letters or anything. I already did that when I ended the regular series before, uh, you know, doing the holiday update, so. Uh, let's speak to W Link here, Wolf Link. I've got a passion for a particular kind of fruit, but it only grows in other towns. Yes, the orange has bewitched me. I must eat one. Can you get it for me? Well, technically they do grow in other towns, but I do have some oranges in storage that I would be more than happy to arrange one for you, Wolf Link. Alright, so let's just go into my storage then, back at home, and get an orange. And I guess it gives me a chance to actually show my home off one more time, considering I never really did that much in the holiday updates. Although, to be fair, my house never really changed all too much between the all the episodes, so there's only some minor additions, some tweaking in terms of all of the uh, furniture, but nothing's really changed. Uh, my fruit is in this basket here. I'm going to grab one orange from my pile, and I'm going to exit the house and go back to W-Link to give him an orange. So, it's really weird, because at the beginning you might have seen the little intro thing I did where I compiled a lot of tweets uh, talking about how this bonus video was pretty much a long time coming, and I kind of lost the math in my head during the actual intro. Um, but uh, yeah, this has been a long time coming and it's really surreal to me, and like Tom Nook was saying when I cancelled the sale of the town, all of the memories from the series is coming back to me. And it kind of sucks because there is a part of me that regrets not... Because I because I said after Founder's Day, while I was doing subtleties of this Leap Day video uh, forever, that I really wanted to have updates, like, weekly at least. I think it was weekly on, um, on Twitter. Uh, and I kind of did that for a little bit, and then I stopped it for the most part, um, because a lot of stuff really didn't happen during that time when it they stopped. Um, but I kind of regret it, because I really wish I kept making more updates on the town, uh, like tweets or whatever. Um, so that's one regret I really have. Like, if honestly speaking, if I could, I would probably do an Animal Crossing series every single day, every single week of 
every single year. Um, but honestly, I don't know, it can get tiring or something like that. Molly is not home right now. I will probably go seek her out. Uh, speaking of seeking things out, of course, since this is the first time I am playing on this specific day, we do have some fossils that are currently sitting in the ground waiting for us to find, as well as an ore rock waiting to be broken here for the daily routine. But Camo Frog, hey! What a surprise. Oh, yeah, I haven't really spoken to Camo Frog a lot. Uh, let's see, maybe, maybe our schedules haven't matched up lately. That's kind of true, Camel Frog, because the last couple days I've been playing, uh, you've either, when I've had the time to play, I guess, while recording Sun and Moon, um, you've, like, either been sleeping or you've been nowhere near your house. So, yeah. Oh, Hanu and Pancake. I'm glad somebody actually mentioned somebody else. Next time I see him, I'd love to talk to him a whole lot more. You're probably going to end up leaving for Hanu eventually. Uh, oh, hey, there's a fossil. Uh, so, I... Or no, that's actually a pitfall seed, because I actually activated my other one the other day above the town near uh, Lopez's house. Uh, anyway, so, yeah, I'm going to do the daily routine. Going to go find the fossils, find the ore rock, go ahead and take care of all that. And then uh, probably spend some time not on this hammock, although that would be a nice idea. Uh, but spend some time on Main Street just to, you know, say some of my goodbyes, in addition to saying goodbye to the villagers here, so. Uh, let's go see, is there anything re really? None of the fossils are anywhere to be found. Or the gem rock? Maybe this is gem rock, yeah, there we go. Alright, gem rock achieved, now I just need to find all of those freaking fossils. Hey, Medley! It's been a while since I've seen you. Oh my goodness, it's Cupcake! I'm so glad to see you're doing well. We haven't talked in so long, I was beginning to think you didn't like me. Well, I also didn't respond to all the letters you sent me, so maybe that is a thing I was subconsciously doing. Uh, anyway, since I'm actually right here by the mayor station, how about I do something that I honestly have not done in forever, probably since before Founder's Day, and that's do a public works project. There's something I'd like to leave with the town before I officially leave. Hi, Mayor James. Is there something I can help you with? Public works projects. Let's build something. I have the cash for it, after all. What would you like to work on? Let's start a new project. Here are the current requests from the townspeople. Alright, let's see. Of course, the renovations for the town halls. Uh, bridges. I already have enough bridges. I think I'll leave those alone. I already got a bench. We got a flower bed, but we could probably use another one. Uh, instrument shelter. We have one of those already. Garbage can. Got one. Pile of pipes. Water well. We got one. We got a fountain. Park clock. Street lamp. Balloon, flower arch. I got rid of the flower arch a while ago. Maybe I'll rebuild that. Let's see. Outdoor chair, we got one. Hydrant, got one. Custom sign. Eh, I don't think I'd leave with that. Cardboard standee. Don't think I'd leave that. Caution sign, got it. Do not enter. I think I got rid of that, but don't seem to make sense to me. Yield. Uh, chair sculpture. I don't want to build that because that seems a little odd. Although... You know what? Hang on. Let me just keep a look at this. Illuminated heart, clock. I already got those. Totem pole. Uh, round topiary. Don't think I'd build the topiaries. Flower clock. You know, I think I want to do the chair sculpture. Even though, to me, it looks more like a boot than a chair. Because, in a sense, me thinking that it's like a boot. Like, you know how when you, like, firmly step into the ground with a a uh, foot <laughs> with a foot with like a shoe and sometimes if you really press hard enough it can leave a mark that's kind of what i'm thinking i'm gonna treat this as if it's not a chair <laughs> like it's a boot and i'm gonna build it to leave my mark on pomosia also that's a villager you haven't really met yet so in fact after i talk to isabel i think i'm gonna go ahead and talk to that villager is this about where I'd like to put the chair sculpture? What do you think? Yes, all right, perfect. I would really love to build this here. Yes, let's go ahead and build it. 
I could probably pick a better spot if I really wanted to try, but I want to get this done today. Even though you technically won't see the final result. Actually, I don't even have the money on hand to build this right now, so I will have to go to Main Street to get the funds for it. Uh, yes, okay, thank you, Isabelle. Alright, uh, I have some cash on me, but I won't pay you right now. I think I'll just do it as soon as I can pay everything. Hey, Eloise, you would actually like to talk to me. And you want to move out. <laughs> okay. Uh, you got good at flamenco dancing. Well, that's good to hear. You want to move away on the second of next month, which is only, like, two days away. Um, you know... I would say to stay in this town forever, like legit forever, because I'm probably never going to play this game again, but I think it would be unfair. If you want to spread your wings and fly, I think you should. I expected a little more than that. You know what? Oh. Oh, okay. Well, I guess I did, I pulled the old uh, reverse psychology and she now wants to stay. Alright, well, I was kind of trying to be considerate and let her, you know, do her own thing, but I guess not. Uh, let's see if Lopez is home. Lopez, you are indeed home. Let's go pay a visit to Lopez. If this episode is a little all over the place, I do apologize, but I'm trying to show as many things as possible. Oh, yeah, I haven't spoken to Lopez a lot either. I deserve that nickname. Lock yourself away and just now find the key. Yeah, kind of. I probably should have spoken to my villagers a lot more when I played the game. Uh, in between, like, the last year. But, unfortunately, I haven't really. Um, so... I don't know. Uh, everybody else I don't think is home. They're probably on Main Street, to be fair. But that's exactly where I'm gonna go, because I want to show off some things on Main Street for the final time. And of course, on Main Street we do have previous villagers here in town. And I'm not gonna update the Dream Suite, because that'd be kind of pointless. I'm probably never gonna play again. The museum, there is a regret I have of not completing the museum 100%. Um, I really wish, I said to myself that I would try to complete, like, the bug collection, the fish collection, and the other sea creature collection, but I just never set a serious goal with that. I was kind of, like, joking, yeah, maybe, we'll see, and I never really did. I, deep down, I think I regret not doing that, although it would have been a lot, a lot, a lot of work to do. But I think in the end, it would have been worth it. Uh, so I do have that kind of regret. Um, but yeah, I don't know. There's a lot of memories flooding back to me. Lots of regrets of things I should have done, probably could have done. And it's all, like, it's all rushing to me right now. And it's a lot of mixed emotions. No blathers, no further assistance is needed. Thank you so much for running this museum. Sorry I couldn't complete it to your standard, but, you know, I tried my best. Alright, so, let's see. I could take one last photo for my, tra uh, my trainer card. I've been playing too much Pokemon. Uh, I don't want to... Actually, you know what? I'm going to go get my fortune read. Do I even actually have enough money on my hand to do that, though? Because I think it costs 5,000 bells, doesn't it? Maybe I just made a mistake coming in here. Uh, Katrina, can you hang on one moment? I, uh, I need to get some money from my ABD real quick. Uh, yeah, let's go get some money. I need to get the money anyway to fund the, uh, public works project, so, uh, let's do two, bir two birds with one stone here. Let's just make sure I have all of the cash I need. I have like a million plus bells in my ABD right now, so I can probably afford to take out, I don't know, like, uh, oh, I have six million, that's right. I can probably afford to take out, um, let's just say 750,000, let's just go ahead and do that. Or I didn't even press the five, all right, that's cool, then let's just do 700,000. And apparently I actually did have a good amount of money on my hand. 
Yeah, I don't really remember the last time I played New Leaf uh, outside of, like, a couple days ago, so. Uh, let's go back to the fortune teller. Let's go see what our fortune is for the final time from Katrina. The great happiness from the stars attempting to visit you. I, Katrina, can reveal your future. It was only 500 bells, and I had 48,000 on my hand before I even went to the ABD. Alright, let's go see what our fortune is. Ki ha 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 mo ta ta, ki ha 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 mo ta 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 ta, i na ro shi so hi. Aha, yes, it has come into view. A stall at the summer festival. I see the owner gritting his teeth as you win over and over again. From this place, I can see the signs. Oh yes, I can. I see good fortune upon items. Plaid bottoms. This item will be key to truly unlocking your good fortune. Well, it's a shame I don't own any plaid short bottoms. I, at least I think I don't. I could probably order them from the catalog though. Maybe, I don't know. Anyway, thank you, Katrina, for reading my fortune, and now, I don't think I want to change up my outfit or my hairstyle, um, but I will go shop at the, uh, Nook Emporium, the TNT Emporium. Let's go stop in one more time. Ooh, Gracie's actually having a sale, but I can't really spend money, because I have to pun- I have to pun? Yes, I have to fund the Public Works Project. And Wolf Link teleported here. Hi, Wolf Link. Nice to see you. Oh. Well, I do have some play coins on me. So, uh, let's get some fortune cookies for old times' sake. God, I don't think I've purchased a fortune cookie in, like, a year? I don't know, it's really been a long time. Let's purchase another one. Purchase both of them, of course, because we got to. I mean, come on. And let's see what our fortunes for the day are. God, there's a lot of bells in my pocket right now. There was a fortune inside. Let's see. Great artists aren't always appreciated in their own time. Oh, I know what this item is. But what will be the other fortune we get? Value the friends you have for one day you may need them. Wow. Pretty deep for the final fortune cookies we're ever gonna get. No, I didn't want to purchase the medicine. I don't feel like getting stung by bees today, even though that would probably bring back even more nostalgia for this series. Let's see. Let's see what our fortunes are gonna be. I already know the 51. I want to see if 33 is something that I already have or not, though. Let's see here. Number 33. Ah, congratulations! The prize for number 33 is some Pikmin! Here is your prize. So lucky! Please try again. Oh, do! I don't think I actually have the Pikmin one, so that's actually really good that I managed to get something I didn't have already. Anyway, let's trade in fortune number 51. Which, of course, if you've played this game before, you know that Fortune 51 is going to be a Nintendo Wii U console. Oh, Wii U, you poor, poor soul. You were so young, and then the Nintendo Switch happened. Honestly, I make jokes a lot about the Wii U not being, um, about the Wii U kind of being a failure, or pretty much being a complete failure. Not as much as the Virtual Boy, though. I'll give it that. Um, but still, the Wii U, you had promise and then developers didn't support it. It's not really your fault. I really wish people did support the Wii U. It did have a lot of good games, but most of them are now on the Switch anyway, so it's, uh, it's a bit of a weird conundrum. Do I even use conundrum in that sentence? I don't think I do. Uh, anyway, uh, we have a lot of items here. A lot of things are actually sold out, to be fair. Uh, we got outfits here, we got poker card furniture, got that outfit there, we have a, oh cool, a poker card clock, that's actually really nice. I don't think I'm gonna purchase anything Gracie, I was really just 
I wouldn't say window shopping, because there's no windows, I think, on that floor, but, you know, I was just browsing, seeing if maybe there was something I could buy. But, uh, honestly, everything at Gracie's, even when it's on sale, is, like, very expensive, and I want to ensure that I can build that final public works project. So, uh, let's exit the TNT Emporium. And, unfortunately, like I said before, don't think I'm gonna go shopping, like, change my outfit, or switch my hairstyle up. In fact, my hairstyle is pretty messy. If I take off the, uh, headgear, you can see... Kind of had that have that weird bedhead look from not playing a lot, so I never really fixed that either. It's a little weird. I think I'm gonna leave the hat off though for the rest of the episode. Uh, yeah, I uh, don't think I'm gonna buy new shoes either. So let's return back to the town and let's fund that public works project. And then it looks like we're gonna be saying goodbye. All right, let's make our way to the gyroid. All the way down here. Uh, this lost item, yeah, I'm just gonna leave it. Alright, uh, gyroid. Let's see, Lloyd the gyroid. Yes, let's fund the sculpture. Let's fund it all with my own money that I've been hoarding from not playing a lot and saving up for not playing a lot at the first of the month. There we go, we funded our last public works project. And it's been met. It will be built tomorrow, but the people of the town will be able to enjoy it. I just won't. Let's go to retail one last time, sell off all of the items that we can sell on our person, since half of our inventory is actually made up of bells right now, and let's prepare for our final moments here in Pomosia. I would like to sell. I have a couple of fossils, and I have a... Uh... A hat, I have an emerald. Uh, I'm gonna keep the Pikmin, and I already have a Wii U, so I think I'm gonna sell the Wii U console as well. Uh, 21,000, not too bad. Alright, so let's exit retail. And now, let's put our shovel away, because as I take the slow walk to the beach to set sail for the airport, I want to thank you all so much for watching. In fact, actually, before we do that, I want to sit back on the tree bench here, and I want to reminisce about the town. Thank you all so much for watching this series. What started out as a little weekday update, and then moved on to holiday updates, all the way for a full year plus, and now, a year or so more later, we're saying goodbye here on Leap Day. And it's very sad, but also very peaceful at the same time. Because I think I did what I could, everything I could, for the most part. Like I mentioned before, I do have some regrets of things I haven't done, and if I could go back, I probably would fix them. But then that would make this series a little different than what it ended up being. And honestly, I wouldn't change this series for the world, so maybe I wouldn't change anything. Because that's what made Pomoja special. Your viewership, your input, what little you had, unfortunately. That's my bad. And just your overall support. Pomoja wouldn't have been what it was without you. Or I guess me for playing it. But uh, yeah. As we see the achievements of the town, thank you so much. But I better not sit here for too long. Cause again, uh, if I look at my watch, I do have a plane to catch. I hear there's a tropical island that, uh, is looking very promising.
Thank you all for watching Animal Crossing New Leaf, and until next time, I will see you on a new horizon.